Definitely a rebuilding year for us in the sense that we have 11 freshmen and sophomores coming into the season, which is, uh, as Rachel has, has pointed out to me, the 22nd youngest team in America, which quite honestly, it feels closer to like the first youngest team in America. Um, I have one senior in Abby Oliver who, who is the leading returning scorer who's picked up very, very well as a, as a uh, senior leader. Uh, but with 11 new kids out there, it's, it's been, um, it's gone a little bit slow, but it's been, it's been fun. I mean, they're, they're a good group and they're, they're fun to coach and, and they actually are, they're talented. It's just a matter of getting them some experience to, to be able to win some basketball games when that time comes. Similar position to the men's team. You lost a 2,000 point score too. I mean, obviously, that's is that priority number one, finding where those points are going to come from. Yeah, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to try to keep people from scoring. Um, <laughs> first and foremost, you know, you can't you can't do that. I mean, I don't know what what Mooney thinks. I mean, if he's got another 2,000 point score, he needs to send her to me. You know, but it, it's just it's one of those things that. Um, you don't even know you're going to have that when you start recruiting those those type of players. Uh, so you know when you're recruiting them, you're hoping that you're going to have a thousand point score. Uh, I think we got a couple kids that could do that. Um, now they're going to have to take on a role that you know in women's basketball it's a lot different and because guys come in they're they're confident they feel good they all were really good players just like the women are. But when when girls come in they take on assumed roles and and they a lot of our players came in as young players and assumed that they were going to you know, be a role player and not, not be a, a score or not be this or not be that. Well, now losing Crystal Goring and losing Brittany and losing Kara Powell, all of a sudden the assumptions are, hey, I'm a player now. So kids that actually probably could have done it didn't do it. Uh, now they're going to have the opportunity to do it and it frees their mind and gives them a little bit more confidence. So that, that may be one of the biggest differences between women and men. Is this program owed a break from somewhere after all the injuries that you've <laughs> been through over the past couple of years? Yeah, you know, I don't know that we're owed a break. I, I certainly like one. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm of the mindset, and I think our team is kind of taking it on that you know we're not going. No one's going to give us anything, and you kind of deal with what it is that that happens to you. You can only control what you can control, and, and uh, those injuries have been things that are a freak of nature. I mean, I can go back to my first year here where I had a kid actually fall out of a bunk bed and hit her head on the way down. I mean, how do you control that? Um, you know, what do you do? You keep playing. Um, I think where our, what it does to our, our, our team is it, it helps us deal with adversity in ways that you, you, can't, you can't recreate. And, and I think particularly the young kids now, uh, because a lot of them, because of those injuries, a lot of kids got to play minutes that they had not played or would, maybe wouldn't have played. Uh, so they didn't get a ton of minutes, but they got more minutes sprinkled in that they could have had. That being said, I think that might be the break, is that now that we've got some kids that, that got some experience that they might not have had. How much do you think, would you, would you like to see, I mean, I know how much you'd like to, but how much do you reasonably expect Becca to contribute this year? Well, if she's ninth in the country in scoring in basketball, I'll be happy, um, just like she is in soccer. Um, you know, I don't know how to put it into words. I mean, I go watch her play soccer, and I don't know anything about soccer other than, you know, when the ball goes to the net, that's a good play. Um, it's amazing to watch that type of athlete. And more importantly, and I said this on the radio yesterday, that type of competitor. There's not a sport here. There's not a sport. There's not a, there's not a coach in the country that would turn her down as a competitor. I don't care what sport it is. You know, a football team could take her. You know, she'd find a way to make everybody on that, that team better. Um, that's what she's going to do for us. How much is she going to tr contribute? I don't know how much on the floor, you know, right away, but certainly in practice every day because her mentality is I'm just going to try to find a way to win, and it just makes everybody raise their game. And that's what's most impressive about her. Coach, when you're dealing with a team that's young, um, how does that change your approach in the preseason? I would imagine you have to back up, maybe go a little bit slower. How does, it, how does that change? Um, it changes a lot. Uh, you know, you got to deal with what you have, obviously. Uh, I'm probably, I've probably loosened up quite a bit. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm laughing more, maybe to prevent, from, keep from crying. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm just kidding there. I, I think, um, I, you know, I think I'm just looser because they need to know that they're good basketball players and they're not going to get everything on the first try. And, and that, that is, is, is an issue. You know, they, they're so used to doing well. Uh, they need to understand that they got to work hard. They've got to get better, but they're okay. They still have those talents, and they're still going to be okay. So I've kind of loosened up a little bit in terms of the expectations. We're still holding them accountable. At the same time, ladies, you're going to screw up. What we need to learn how to do is how to play through that and how to find success.